What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your life to the fullest today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Ram 2500 Laramie Knight. Huge thank you to Erica Ramsey over at Coons Tyson's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Ram or any Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram product, I'll be sure to have Erica's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. With that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the exterior and performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Ram 2500 Laramie. And this particular one has been painted in the $200 diamond black crystal pearl paint, which basically is just a black paint with a metallic flake. Now, the first option that I'm gonna go over is the $3,940 night edition. And what you guys get with that is this sport performance hood with non-functional vents up top here in a non-functional air intake at the center of that front hood. Now, the uh, hood, if you guys can't tell, also has a bulge at the center to give it a more muscular look. I think it looks pretty darn good. And then also what you get with the night edition are these black headlight bezels. You also get a black black grill and then the grill surround both for the top and the bottom down here are body color so if you guys got this uh, painted in red then this piece up here would be in red and then this piece down here would be in red i'll throw a picture of what that would look like on screen right now and then also an option that you might want to get that this one does not have if you guys suck at parking would be the 1795 dollars tow technology package which would give you a 360 degree view camera and you would find your forward facing camera located right there this one does not have that again but i thought i would point that out if that is something that you guys are looking into getting now with the laramie as standard you do get a body color front bumper now this particular one has been optioned with the 3200 level one equipment group which gives you guys led fog lights and led headlights with automatic high beam so led headlights led fog lights and you get led daytime running lights which look really really sick here um with the laramie night edition now Another thing I wanted to mention is this has the $3,200 level one equipment group and the $3,940 night edition. So either with the night edition package or the level one equipment group, you guys get six forward facing sensors. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you guys get the night edition, you get the forward facing sensors. If you guys get the level one equipment group without the night edition, you guys get those six forward facing sensors. Now this particular one has also been optioned with the $145 protection group, which gives you guys these front tow hooks both on the driver and the passenger side of your front bumper and then i do want to talk about ground clearance so you do get eight and a half inches of ground clearance with the laramie now working our way down the side we're going to talk about the wheel setup here so like i mentioned this does have the night edition so with the night edition you guys do get these 20 inch black painted wheels wrapped in 285 60 firestone transforce at tires give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires so if you guys drive on you know some muddy roads or you're on a muddy job site just know that with these tires you guys should not get stuck unless you guys are really trying to get stuck and i'll give you guys a view of that suspension setup up here you obviously do get the heavy duty shock absorbers for both the front and the rear now new for 2023 are these tow mirrors so these are a different style tow mirror from the 2021s and the 2022s and uh, in my personal opinion i do like the way that they look now with the laramie you guys do get these satin black mirrors with led turn signals utility lights the are heated as standard power folding as standard and telescoping as standard um, so you guys can see you get these utility lights right here those come standard so basically if you come in the interior and you press this button here and here that will turn on the lights on the mirror so now these lights are on and then you also get a courtesy light right here that you can turn on again very very easy system to use on like Ford zone lighting uh, but I'll get into that when we move into the interior now like I mentioned earlier on in the video this does have the level one equipment group which gives you guys auto dimming exterior mirrors you get your blind spot monitoring and you get the side view mirrors with memory so when you guys set your um, seat adjustment settings on the interior and it memorizes that it will memorize not only your pedals not only your seats but also your exterior mirrors which is very very nice now one thing i wanted to show you guys up here is that also with the level one equipment group you guys do get rain sensing wipers and then this particular one has been optioned with the 95 dollar cap lights which by the way if you guys are getting a heavy duty truck is a must option again that's just my personal opinion and then also with the night edition again you guys do get that black ram lettering on your front two passenger doors now let's do a little side profile of 
the 2500 night painted here in black it looks super super sinister so you do get black window trim you get body color door handles um, with keyless access so all you got to do is have your key fob in your pocket walk up to the vehicle put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock you can press that button right there and the vehicle locks i'm gonna make sure it's unlocked so all i gotta do is put my hand behind that door handle again now again uh, I feel like I keep saying again, but with the level one equipment group you guys also do get this power sliding rear window with the rear window defogger and then if you guys do do a lot of towing you guys can get the optional $1,705 rear load leveling air suspension. This particular one doesn't have it, but if you guys do towing, you might want to at least look into getting that as an option. Just something that I thought I'd point out for those of you guys who do a lot of towing. Now coming over here to the back end. Now I'm not sure how well the GoPro is picking it up because it is black, uh, but with the Laramie, you guys get a standard dampened tailgate a backup camera, LED hitch light, and LED taillights. Um, and then also last but not least, you do get a body color rear bumper as standard with the Laramie. So I do wanna show you guys the, um, well, obviously you can open up the dampened tailgate by pressing on this button back here, but there's your backup camera. You guys can see the LED hitch lighting is on right now. So your hitch lights are actually hidden up here. So if you guys are connecting a trailer at night, you got those lights to shine directly on the hitch to make it easier to connect to a trailer. Now I mentioned this, but I'm gonna mention it again you guys do get also led taillights with uh the laramie as standard now what i wanted to mention is that like i mentioned earlier on in the video this does have the night edition so what you guys get with the night edition are these black taillight bezels you also get your black ram head located at the center of the tailgate and then you get your uh, black badging on both the left hand side of the tailgate and on the bottom right hand side of the tailgate with the 4x4 badge now obviously this is a 4x4 it does have the 4x4 badge um, but again as standard with the laramie you get those body color rear bumpers this particular one has been optioned again with the night edition and the level one equipment group and what you guys get with either one of those packages are these four rear sensors so you get one two three and four so if you guys just get the night edition you get those parking sensors if you guys just get the level one equipment group you also get those parking sensors now a couple options that this one doesn't have um i'm going to show you guys the dampened tailgate so all you got to do is do that tailgate comes down slow now like i was mentioning a couple options that this particular one doesn't have that you guys might want to look into getting um is the optional 845 dollar bed utility group which gives you guys the LED bed lighting as well as a bed step which would I believe be located right here and you just kick it out um, and it makes it easier to step into the bed and then last but not least what you guys get with that package is also a spray and bed liner so if you guys do a lot of loading of just shit, um, that you put in your truck that might be an option you might want to get so you guys don't just mess up the uh, paint and you guys just have a nice bed liner to slide stuff on without having to worry again about scratching up that paint now one thing that i did fail to mention with the level one equipment group you guys do get a remote release tailgate with the key fob so if you guys press that button twice the tailgate will start dropping no if you press that again it will not go back up so just keep that in mind it will only drop from the uh, button on the key fob now i do want to show you guys a couple tie downs that you guys have you get one there one back there one there and then one right here as well those are like the cleats that you find if you guys are boaters you guys know that those cleats look very similar to what you'd find on a boat and then you get these little hooks um, or whatever these things are called you get four of those so you get one two three and four at all four corners and then you have a household power outlet right here it is a 115 volt system or a 400 watt system you guys can see household power outlet and that is on the driver side of the um bed now i do want to close the tailgate i don't want to uh, crush that now i do want to mention a couple things to you guys and that is that you guys get a 373 rear gear as standard um, with the laramie now this one has the optional 495 dollar anti-spin rear axle and then i'm sure you guys are wondering about the tow capacity and the max payload so the max payload is 3042 pounds um, as shown here and then the max tow capacity of this particular 2023 ram 2500 laramie is 14,600 
in 20 pounds. Now let me know what, you, oh, actually one more thing before we move on, I wanna show you guys your trailer lighting options. So you get a four pin connector and obviously a seven pin connector like every other truck that you guys get on the market nowadays. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Ram 2500 Laramie with the night edition in the comment section down below. Do you guys like the night edition? Do you guys want the sport um, edition package or whatever? Personally, I think that this looks a lot better, but personally, for me, I like all like the blacked out elements, blacked out wheels, blacked out grill, and all that kind of stuff. I know some of you guys do not like that stuff. You guys like your chrome, which I can understand. Um, so if you guys just get the standard Laramie with the level one equipment group, I believe that um, you get like chrome side view mirrors and stuff like that. I don't know what else is chrome, uh, but again, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below, but let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that 6.4 liter V8 that makes 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in seven and a half seconds. There are no fuel economy numbers on the window sticker, so I cannot speak to fuel economy. So if there's anybody out there who owns one of these, um, let me know what you guys' average fuel economy is in the comments down below. I greatly appreciate it. And I think the other viewers who are looking maybe to purchase one of these would also greatly appreciate it but if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button i'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do that without your guys' help we are so close we are less than 2,000 away from 10,000 so i greatly appreciate it if you guys would take a second to give the video a thumbs up to hit that subscribe button but uh with that out of the way let's move into the interior all right moving into the interior like i mentioned to you guys earlier on in the video you guys do get keyless access so all you got to do is make sure you have your key fob in your pocket when you walk up to the vehicle put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock you can also lock the vehicle by pressing that button right there and you guys can hear that beep that means it is locked i do want to show you guys a couple of the functions that you guys get with the key fob um, so with the um, level one equipment group you guys do get that remote drop tailgate um, but you also do get remote start and I don't remember if the remote start comes with the level two or level one equipment group or if it comes standard but let's remote start her up and the 6.4 liter Hemi roars to life now again keyless access just put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock now this particular Laramie does have the $545 leather trimmed bucket seats I don't know why that turned off uh, but remote start is canceled because the fuel level is low. So, okay, that makes sense. Now, taking a look at the driver's side door panel from about like here up, this is all vinyl wrapped. You guys get some faux carbon fiber trim. You get some aluminum trim. Right in here is like this black suede. It looks really, really sweet. Aluminum door handle. You get two memory seat adjustment settings. You get automatic up and down windows in the front. You do not get automatic up or down windows in the back. Pressing on that button will power fold in your side view mirrors. And then here are your different mirror controls, which I'll get into uh, later on in this video. Great spot you can set a phone. Good amount of miscellaneous storage base towards the bottom of the door panel albeit not quite as much as what you would find in like the ford super duties but still quite a bit of room down there and then this particular one um, comes standard with the alpine sound system now i want to show you guys those leather trimmed bucket seats you get laramie embossed into the seat back it looks really sweet you get some accent colored piping that goes down the seat on the headrest um, it looks really really sweet obviously you get a power driver seat power front passenger seat now let's step into the interior and I'm gonna move over to there because it's not quite as hot if I park it over there. So I'm gonna do that. All right, now we are in position and uh, we'll start going throughout the interior. So I'm gonna start her up. She does um, have not very much gas left. Uh, so we'll try to get through this rather quickly, but hopefully we don't run out of gas here. Now, like I mentioned, here are your side view mirror controls. So pressing on this button right here will let you telescope the side view mirrors. So again, press that. You guys can see it's lit up in that amber. That means it is selected. So if I press this button right here, you can see they're starting to telescope. They're going out. Both sides are going out press on this button right here now they are both coming back in now if you guys press the button under that it's going to light up in amber now that is to control the lower portion of the side view mirror so let's select the driver side side view mirror and then you can move that down like it's doing you can move that up you can move it left you can move it right exactly how you want it to um, and then that is to turn the light on the front of the uh, side view mirror like right in there and then this button right here you guys can see now that's lit up. 
is to control the light that's located right there. So it's basically like your puddle light. So pretty cool, very cool um, different things that you guys can do with those side view mirrors. Here are your headlight controls. That's to turn your cargo lighting lights on, fog lights, and obviously you guys know how the headlight controls work. I'm gonna leave it in headlights automatic. And then this scroll knob on the right is to adjust the brightness and or dimness of your gauge cluster and your backlit button. So pretty cool. You get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have these buttons right here and that is to either push those pedals away from you or you can bring the pedals towards you. So pressing on that, you can see the pedals are going away from me pressing it that um, now they're coming towards me so pretty cool and then down here is to turn your um, cargo outlet on or off and then obviously you have your emergency brake there that is what your pedals look like in the pedal box now coming up to here one thing about rams is that they make a killer interior from the 1500 trucks all the way up to the 3500 trucks but the one thing that is so cheap on them that's still on them from 2005 is this turn signal stock and the windshield wiper control stocks. But let's take a listen to our turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like. And then obviously you guys know you can control the windshield washer from by pushing on that and then the front windshield will wash. But taking a look at the steering wheel with the Laramie, you guys get a leather wrapped and heated steering wheel as standard. Your steering wheel, heated steering wheel controls are controlled through the screen. Uh, but you have these different arrows here. These are to control your productivity screen located at the center of your gauge cluster. And then that is to speak to the vehicle. And then this is to bring you into your phone stuff. So you can pick up on a phone call from that button. I believe you can also hang up from a phone call from that button. But let's take a listen to our horn. That is what the horn sounds like. And then on the right-hand side of the um, steering wheel, you have your cruise control settings. If you guys want adaptive cruise control, you are gonna have to option for the $2,140. I can't remember the name of the package, but it's a $2,140 option, and it includes adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and adaptive steering. So if that is something you guys want, you're gonna have to pay for it. And then this is to upshift and or downshift your eight-speed automatic transmission. But before we go throughout our gauge cluster, you have your volume controls mounted on the back side of this side of the steering wheel. And then you have your different tuning controls on on the um, left hand side of your steering wheel on the back side so that is your tuning controls and then behind here um, are your volume controls now going throughout our gauge cluster you guys can see left hand side of the gauge cluster you have your coolant temperature gauge and your rpm gauge and then on the right hand side you have your speedometer and your fuel gauge at the center of your gauge cluster you have your productivity screen which you can adjust what is here 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 and here if you guys want to change that you can do that right now you got your compass ambient exterior temperature that is your uh, oil pressure and that is your battery gauge and then you have your digital speed Speedometer readout, that's your odometer that lets us know if we're in park, fuel range, and then that is your menu stuff. So again, to control that screen, you go throughout here so you can go into your vehicle info stuff, which includes tire pressure, coolant temperature, trans temperature, oil temperature, uh, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, gauge summary, and your engine hours will go down one more. This will bring you into your drivetrain stuff and your pitch and roll stuff so you can see how far we're turning to the right and to the left degree wise. Go down one more fuel economy stuff and down one more trip information you get your trip a trip b this is your trailer tow information you get your audio stuff and your different messages you can go into your screen setup like i said you guys can adjust what's up there you can adjust what's up there and so on and so forth we'll go down one more personally this is probably the screen that i would leave my particular vehicle on just personal preference like i mentioned you get keyless access so you do get push button start here is your rotary dial for your transmission. So this is dummy proof. So let's say you're going 80 miles an hour down the highway, you're listening to your favorite song, and then the next song that plays is absolute garbage. If you guys end up, you know, you're going 80 miles an hour, you're like, oh, I'm gonna turn this music down, and you accidentally flip it uh, all the way over, or flip this instead of turning down the volume knob, just know it is dummy proof. It's not actually gonna throw the vehicle into park. So just keep that in mind when you guys are looking at this vehicle now. Um, you have your four high, four low, and two wheel drive. So this does have a two speed transfer case. And then pressing on that button will put you into your true neutral. Now you do get four HVAC vents on the dash. One, two, three, and four. You do get a vinyl wrap dash with some accent colored stitching. Up top here, you have a great spot. You can set, you know, a tape measure 
or something like that, you get a 12 volt outlet. Get your Alpine speaker up top here. Um, and then taking a look, now this particular Laramie has been optioned with the level one equipment group, which is a $3,200 option. And what you guys get with that is this 12 inch Uconnect 5 infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. It actually works very, very well. Now, right now it's on the climate control screen. You do have your climate control stuff on the left and the right side of the screen. So you have your fan speed, you got your auto button, you have your temperature controls, you get your temperature controls for the passenger, front defroster, rear defroster, AC button, and your recirculating button. You also have a screen off button and a mute button. Obviously you have your volume knob, you have your tuning knob, and then all the way up top here, you have your hazard button. Right now the hazards are on, but I'm gonna walk you guys through this screen rather quickly. So this is what your home screen looks like. Navigation stuff on the top, you have your um, media stuff on the bottom, and then you can add different widgets. You have two different pages um, to basically customize to your liking. Then you can go into your media stuff. So you have your different sources, which are FM, XM, Bluetooth audio, USB auxiliary, um, and your Alexa stuff. You also have Bluetooth audio. This is what's playing. You can go into your browsing for like your XM stuff, and then you can go into your audio settings uh, for the volume if you're on a phone call and stuff like that. So this is a very, very customizable screen, guys. So just keep that in mind as we go along in this video. That is what the driver temperature is set to. That is what the passenger temperature is set to. That's the ambient exterior temperature. And then that is your current time. It looks like it is set to military time at the moment. Um, like I mentioned, if you guys wanna turn your heated or um, ventilated front seats on, here are your controls. So you have to go into your comfort stuff, which brings you into your climate control screen. Uh, but then you can see you get your heated seats, ventilated seats, both with three levels of adjustability. Then you have your heated steering wheel button. So heated front seats and heated steering wheel come standard with the Laramie. The ventilated front seats come as an option with the $3,200 level one equipment group. So if you guys don't need the ventilated seats, um, then you guys could skip the uh, level one equipment group if you wanted to. This is what your navigation screen looks like. You can go into your phone screen. That is what the phone screen looks like. You can go into the vehicle screen. Um, so you can go into your off-road. That off-road, I believe, also comes a part of the level one equipment group. And then what also comes a part of the level one equipment group um, are your trailer tow pages which um, I'll show you guys maybe later on the video, maybe not, but here are all of your different settings. So you can take a look at that. This is your next setting screen, next setting screen. Um, so you have three screens of settings that you guys can go into. So very, very customizable to what you guys like. Um, then you can go into your different apps, which you go into your app screen, you get your off-road pages, device manager, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Again, screen is, yeah, I, I could spend like an hour on this screen alone. So down here, you have your integrated trailer brake controller down here. Uh, this is your traction control on or off, tow haul mode on or off. And then you can turn your parking sensors on or off with these two um, switches here. Below that, you get two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, and an auxiliary jack. You also have a great spot. You can set your phone here while you are driving if that's what you wanted to. Tons and tons of storage space down here. If you guys can see down here, you have a 150. 15 volt or a 400 watt household power outlet right there again tons and tons of storage space down in here you can slide this forward you can slide this backwards if you guys slide this forward get two cup holders spot you can set some coins and then miscellaneous storage space right here and then you get a leather wrapped armrest you can see your ram head accent colored stitching it is nicely padded and then opening this up you get another usb a port and a good amount of miscellaneous storage base down in there and then i believe this whole thing opens up um, and then it reveals this stuff which personally if i bought this truck i would never use any of this stuff i'm not a contractor but uh, for those of you guys who are you might want to use that i don't know um, you also get an led light or a halogen light it seems down in here um, but you also have a little divider so very good amount of storage base in your center console moving over to the passenger side the upper glove box has a little laramie badge you can open it up by that you can fit a ton of sausage mcmuffins in there if that's what you wanted to do uh, probably like 12 13 maybe then you have a lockable lower glove box and uh, you have a little bit of storage base down in there so because you have the upper glove box you have a smaller lower glove box so you can fit your owner's manual and a couple other miscellaneous items down in there um, but again not the biggest glove box but you do get an auto dimming rear view mirror a spot you can set your sunglasses excuse me up in there with the level one equipment group you do get that power sliding rear window so you can open that up 
by that button there. Close it again by that button. You have your SOS stuff, so roadside assistance stuff here. Um, this is to drop the tailgate. Driver gets a light, passenger gets a light, and then you have your different light controls there. Universal garage door opener. So if your house has three different garage bays, you can open up those three different garage bays individually. Opening this up, vanity mirror, two vanity lights. You get a spot, you can set some money or any small paper product. Opening this up, it slides forward, it slides backward. Very, very nice. So when the sun is in that odd position, you guys can block the sun out. So very nice. And then you get these here. I believe these are your Bluetooth mic pickup for your your Bluetooth phone. You get the same two over there on the passenger side. You get an Opu panel there. Driver gets an Opu panel here. Now a couple options that I wanted to read over to you guys is that this does um, come standard again with the heated front seats and the heated steering wheel with the Laramie. The level one equipment group gives you guys the ventilated front seats. Now also with the $3,200 level one equipment group, you guys get the 12 inch screen, ventilated front seats, in floor storage in the second row. I'll show you guys that in a minute. You get the power sliding rear window. You get the power pedals with memory. You get blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, off-road info pages, and trailer tow pages. I'll throw uh, the rest of everything that you guys get with the level Level one on screen so you guys can check it out now um, you can also get the optional four thousand nine hundred ninety five dollar level F equipment group if the level one is not enough for you guys and the differences between the level one and the level F I'm only gonna read you guys the options that um, you guys don't get with the level one that you do get with the level F and those include heated second row seats 17 speaker Harman Kardon sound system a wireless charging pad and a global telematics box module if I'm missing anything you guys can correct me in the comments down below but I'll list that on screen as well now I mentioned this to you guys earlier on in the video if you guys want adaptive cruise control that is a $2,140 option and it also includes lane keep assist and adaptive steering if you guys want a 360 degree view camera or a cargo camera um, which would just basically show you guys like a view of the cargo in your bed on the screen that is a $1,795 option and that is called the tow technology group so if you guys want that and then one other interior option that maybe some of you guys want maybe some of you guys don't really care about and that is the $1,195 sunroof which basically would just give you like the regular size sunroof so you do not get a panoramic roof in this uh, but you guys can get the regular sunroof in this so uh, I am gonna read over the window sticker so bear with me here for a second all right so now I'm gonna throw the window sticker on screen you guys can tick check a look at uh, or take a look at the interior features the exterior features that come standard and then all the different optional features that I went over on the exterior and a little bit here on the interior you guys can also check out the warranty stuff and the government safety ratings but I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP so the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Ram 2500 Laramie Knight is spec is seventy five thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars so you know that is a lot of money it is a lot of money but you also get a very very nice truck uh for that price so let me know what you guys think of that price in the comments down below but i do want to show you guys what we have going on in those second row seats before we move into the driving portion of the review so taking a look the door panel in the rear looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find in the front uh, again you do not get automatic up or down windows in the back you get a good amount of miscellaneous storage space and then that is what your alpine speaker surround looks like in the second row like i mentioned earlier on in the video with the level one equipment group you guys do get these storage boxes so you get one here and i believe you get one on that side as well you also get a uh, folding up seat so normally um i feel like the two like the 60 percent of the seat is on this side but for some reason in this vehicle it is on that side so this is the 40 that is the 60 if that makes sense so you guys do get that fold flat storage if that's what you guys want you can fold that flat very very nice you also get a little light there but folding these seats down this is what your second row seats look like in the uh laramie let's step into the interior you do get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders i believe and it is also nicely padded you get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat you get a seat back pocket over there behind the passenger seat you get two cup holders you get two usb c ports two usb a ports a great spot you can set a phone and then you get another 115 volt or 400 watt 
household power outlet there. I think I mentioned this, I'm gonna mention it again, but you get two cup holders. I am adjusted behind myself, I'm five foot nine, and I actually put this seat further back than I would normally have it while getting prepared for this video. Um, and look at all the uh, leg room, all the knee room, and I get a ton of headroom left over, five foot nine again. Um, very good amount of store or space for me as a passenger back here. If you guys are six three, I still think you'd be comfortable back here. Opu Pandal. Opu panel over there. You get a dome light and get your speakers in the roof. And then you get a spot you can set um, dry cleaning here if that's something you wanted to do. Um, now, one thing that I missed when we were in the front, and that I want to show you guys that now, is that these headrests move forward and backwards. So that is like the most aggressive setting. That is the least aggressive setting, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settings um, of your headrest, so you can adjust it exactly how you want it to be. So very, very nice. Um, and that is a very nice thing or feature to have when you guys are going on long road trips. Now, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the Laramie. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive, as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So. I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, because we are relatively low on fuel, I don't want to do a like normal length driving portion of the video because I don't want to run out of gas. Um, so I apologize for that, but it'll still be, you know, an in-depth driving portion of the video. Now, first thing I wanted to mention is that this rides like a 2500 truck. You know, it's got a firmer suspension, but with that firmer suspension comes great handling. So this thing handles so, so well around turns. I'm always amazed when I get in like a 2500 truck or a 3500 truck by the handling I'm always like man these things handle insanely well for what they are now because it is a solid front axle truck just like the f250 and f350 um, there is a little bit of dead space um, at the center of the wheel so you probably have like an inch to this side and an inch to this side roughly you know um, of like dead space that does pretty much nothing so you can see that pretty much does nothing uh, but again it's still very easy to drive and I think it's actually better to drive than like an f2 or an f350 you know sometimes when you get in the two or the 350s uh, it is like sometimes like on certain situations it's relatively hard to keep it like straight because it's got that dead space and I have noticed that a little bit with this but that's just kind of comes with the territory of having a solid front axle truck and that is what you do not find in the GMC's or the Chevy's because they get that independent front suspension now there are some there are definitely some advantages to um, the independent front suspension and there are some advantages to the solid front axle so it's all dependent on what you guys are looking for now with the 6.4 Hemi that this particular one has optioned or has been optioned with you get a 14 and some odd pound max tow capacity which i think is really really good especially with a gas truck so one thing i wanted to say is that with diesel prices being so high and with diesel maintenance being so high like to maintain a diesel to or versus maintaining a gas powered vehicle there's quite a big difference i mean i'm sure those of you guys who are watching this video know that um so Again, the 6.4 is definitely cheaper to maintain. It's cheaper to fill up because, you know, regular fuel prices are obviously cheaper than diesel fuel prices. So with that tow capacity, I mean, that's a really damn good tow capacity for a V8 gas powered truck. You know, if you guys need a greater tow capacity, then you might want to look into getting the Cummins. But personally, if it were me, I would get a 3500 with the Cummins. If I was getting a 2500, I'd probably stick with the 6.4, you know? You get the great tow capacity, and I don't know if this is accurate, so you guys can let me know in the comments down below, but I had a buddy who told me that his friend bought a 2500 Ram, and he got the Cummins, and he was saying that the Cummins had a lower tow capacity than the 6.4 gas. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I've been told. Um, and the reason is because the Cummins is heavier. Obviously, the Cummins is going to tow heavier weight easier. It's going to be less effort for it. But apparently, the gas 2500s tow more. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I've heard. Let me know uh, in the comments down below if that's accurate. It doesn't sound accurate to me, but it could be. You know, sometimes those kinds of things can surprise you. But this thing just, it rides very, very well. Now, like I mentioned, it does have a firmer suspension, so you are going to feel the imperfections in the road. But when you go over like big speed bumps and big bumps and stuff like that, it actually soaks up those bumps surprisingly well. So, 
it does ride rather firm but when you go over like big bumps and stuff the suspension doesn't ride as firm as you would expect it to it actually rides better over big bumps so this is a really nice driving vehicle it feels super premium here on the interior and i've always thought that with the 2019 and up rams doesn't matter if it's a 1500 2500 or a 3500 i always felt like even with the fords and with chevy updating their heavy duty interiors i still feel like the ram it just it feels more premium i like the way that it looks more and you know looks and that kind of stuff they're subjective so you guys can agree or you guys can disagree with me uh, but again that's just my personal opinion i think that these look a lot more premium now the ford seat um, comfort is definitely better you know i think the fords compared to the chevys and the rams have a more comfortable seat so if that is something that's important to you like you want the max comfortable seat you're going to want to look into a ford these seats are still plenty comfortable and these seats are actually more comfortable than what you'd find in a chevy or a gmc but the mac daddy most comfortable seats are with the ford so again personal preference i think the fords look really good i'm not quite sold i don't think on like the new heavy duty ford look i think the 22s those those are money i think those look really good but i don't know i don't i'm not totally sold yet on the new redesign for the fords i do really like the way that the new 2024 gmc heavy duties look but i still think the ram holds its own i think the ram especially here blacked out my uncle has a very similar looking truck to this his is a 2019 it's a 3500 with the cummins um, i can link a video actually to that in the upper right hand section of this video right now and th that's one of the first review videos i've ever done was on a 3500 truck that pretty much looked the exact same as this so if you guys want to see where i started like how i started reviewing videos you guys can check that video out and you can let me know if I've improved or dis or not improved uh, over the past couple years reviewing vehicles. So that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned to you guys, I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would take a second out of your day to give the video a thumbs up to hit that subscribe button. C8 looks really good. Um, that's just a, that was a Z06. So that is a C8 Z06. I haven't seen one of those on the road yet. That thing looked money. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.